as fast as possible, getting as much MT as possible, and domination as you possibly can. So with this method, I'm gonna have to score very consistently on the CPU and I'm gonna be, should be able to do it all game. So basically I have two good centers. I have the reward Sean Bradley, which is only three tokens in the token reward market. You should definitely pick him up because he's has a high advantage. He's a seven six center. So he has the high advantage on everyone basically and i also have from playing the first domination game i pulled a evolution player and i fully leveled him up and i'm at the third game now so he's the sapphire power forward kaita baits the up and he's a very good post player and a shooter too so i'm just gonna use them two to dominate the post against the computer and the computer gets broken down very easily in this game even though their defense and their offense is a lot smarter also what you want to do is you want to off ball using these centers because the computer's defense is going to be able to keep up with itself you just want to use the centers and watch the paint don't let anyone get in so basically you press lb to call the play and you call post up lb again so you press lb rt lb kick it fast get up a shot look at that all you have to do is time it and you should be able to drop it on them every time i'm gonna try to come back show you guys that this method really works see they just set like this now i'm gonna i'm gonna off ball wow all right it's fine just keep getting buckets on them run the floor fast what you want to do is you want to run the floor fast every time attack 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 and you want to get into the big man and try to get that easy dunk under the hoop there's a lot of different players you can do this with but you just want someone who could take it down fast and you want two solid big men all right let's get it big man play right here get it in there we go easy foul it's the only way they can stop us money money all right now watch the off ball defense watch how well the defense plays when it's the cpu Be patient. Try to stay. Yep. Try to stay on your feet. Don't let them catch you with pump fix. You should be able to get to the paint pretty easily. Protect the paint pretty easily. And just run the fast break. Smart passes. No need to dribble. The ball moves faster than the player. Always. Just watch the transition. Watch everything happen in front of you. And make the best pass. Try to get an easy dunk or layup at the hoop. You want to finish with your taller players because they're not going to get blocked as easily. All right, let me off ball. Watch the picks. Pay attention to what's going on off the ball because that's in domination. The players are going to be moving in their plays. The coaches are going to run their plays. So sometimes they're just going to get open naturally. You just have to be ready for that. See, just take it up in the fast break. If you have a player like T-Mac, I had the T-Mac video last time. You should go watch it, definitely. It shows all the stats, and I'm showing off the badges. See what Hall of Fame badge that is. See how well this T-Mac performs. It'll be in the description below. Green. Occasionally try to go for steals, but never try to hack them. The best thing that I haven't said yet about this method is when you take it into the post, forget what just happened there. When you take it into the post, you're going to get more MT off scoring from a post move. So I'm going to show you guys. All right, get it to my point guard. 
it up, bring it up, bring it up. All right, I'm in the post now. Drop step, right up. Plus two layup. Look at the top right. Plus five post move. Did you see that? Plus two made shot. You're going to get the assist. You're going to get the post move, plus five, and you're going to get the made shot. Instead of a dunk, which gives you just a plus three, a three-pointer gives you a plus three. A layup gives you a plus two. And a mid-range gives you a plus two. Only the post move gives you a plus five. It's a bigger, it's a better award, almost double. And it's the easiest way to score, so you should definitely try this out. Definitely pick up Sean Bradley. And you'll be able to dominate. See, Rudy Gobert is nothing. Fast break. It's the height. I'm telling you, 2K rewards players for height. It's a known thing. It's been like this since 2K19 and a lot of games before, especially my team. Tall players reign supreme. Just keep the pressure up. Run the fast break always. You're just going to dominate. See how it came back already? All right, I'm going to end this video soon because you guys started to get the point now. But you just want to run the offense carefully. Never rush. See how it, See how did this playing now? It's natural. This is the big man. All right. All right. Yeah, I messed up there, but you guys get the point. Well, it's been Coco6. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hold on, watch this last dunk. I'm out.